Hey, Justin Popovich here. Today, I'd like to share with you about how to use PLR to make personal branding videos that connect. And just let me set, set a little bit of context here, set the stage for you. Uh, I, I talk to a lot of our customers, uh, people who are looking to you know, build a brand online, whatever it may be, whatever the reasons may be. Uh, we're all doing it to a degree if you're a business owner, right? So doing video and creating personal videos where it's either you on camera or a video like I'm doing right now where it's your picture but you're speaking over top, Critically important, really, if you want to connect with your audience, if you want your audience to know more about you and your style and your expertise and so on, uh, you can't really ignore video. And when I, I talk to people that, that come to me with questions like, how do I get started with video? I can't seem to make it work. Uh, I, I, I often feel like they make it to be a bigger deal in their head than it needs to be. So in this example, what I want to do is show you how with something as simple as a PLR article, you can create a really good video. Uh, and, and in a very short period of time, and this is something you could repeat daily or multiple times a day if you really want to tap into video marketing uh, and just using video as a connection tool for your audience. So I just literally, before I created that slide, I was using a single slide to do that for you. I created this little basically checklist of what I want to do here. So let me make it a bit bigger. And here's what it's going to look like. Uh, I'm going to use it just, just to kind of give you a, a preview here. I'm using a product, a PLR product called Sway. PLR. It's a social media uh, influence package. How do you use social media to influence your market? So the steps are basically, first, I'm going to uh, use my iPhone and uh, going about my day, I'm just going to take a quick video to do a personal intro. So the whole point of the, the iPhone video is for me to get on camera. It's going to be maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds of me just saying, introducing the topic that I'm going to talk about. Uh, then at the end of the video, I'm going to do like a quick funny face or selfie type of thing. I'm not even going to stop recording. Uh, and the reason for that is I want to take a still of that funny face or that, you know, funny reaction type of thing, uh, so that I can use the photo later on. So I'll show you that. Um, then I'm going to take a PLR article on the topic of social media influence and break it into single words or phrases that I can put into a slide deck. Then I'm going to read the article. Uh, while I show the key word or key phrase on the slide. So I don't have to be awesome at pre um, presentation skills, right? I'm literally using a, a slide deck with keywords and I'm going to read the article. Now, it takes a little bit of practice to be good at reading articles and sounding good, but even if you don't, you're just going to try your best and you'll still come out at the end of this thing with a decent video. So I'm going to have slides, I'm going to record my voice speaking the, or narrating the article over top of these one word slides. And then I'm going to export the video and publish it. And then um, the video can link to a sales page or a blog or on social media or whatever. And we'll talk about the options. I'm not going to go through the whole process of promoting it, but I am going to go through the process of creating it. So uh, first step, let me, uh, let me show you the iPhone video that I took already kind of in, in preparation for this. Uh, and let, let me actually roll over and show you that right now. Hey, Justin Popovich here. Today, I want to talk a little bit about social media, particularly social media influence. Can you actually influence your customers or potential customers using social media? And if so, what's the right way to do it? Check it out. In this video, I want to sh break down some of my thoughts about the topic and hopefully you like it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, yeah, you just have some fun with it. Well, how long was that take? I'm looking at my little clip here. It's, it was like, I don't know, 15 seconds. So now I'm actually showing you, I'm recording ScreenFlow while I use ScreenFlow. This is kind of weird. But anyway, um, I've got this clip of video here. And remember all those funny faces I did at the end, right? I would just kind of go like this until I found something hilarious enough like that. And then I could grab that, a still of that. <laughs> I love my hair. It's like on a line here. I'm going to have to do some Photoshopping. So you grab the still of that. And then um, that still I can use on Facebook because here's what I found. And I'd, I'd experiment with this. You can publish the video to Facebook. That's fine. But what about just publishing the picture to Facebook and then having people click on uh, click on another link to go see the video because they're probably going to stop and look at the picture or you can add a little text to that picture saying you got to check out this video I shot. You'll have to click the description or the link below to, to go see it. Right. I, I'd rather I'd like to experiment with that. And not only that, having that that funny picture, that funny face, uh, you can use it on your blog. Uh, you can use it on other platforms like Twitter as just a funny shareable thing to do. I have to move it off because I can't look at my face on that. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, so you see how something like that can be done in one take. I was wa literally walking in after dropping my kids off from school when I shot this, 
And uh, I've got to just do something else here because I can't <laughs> look at myself. Anyways, I wanted to um, show you that. Now let me actually show you the PLR. All right, now I've got the uh, that video done. Let me actually show you this PLR product uh, behind the scenes. Like I said, it's called Sway. It's, it's all about social media influence. It's from our catalog at bestqualityplr.com. So it's it's got a, a main ebook about how to uh, influence your audience on social media and it has some articles. So I'm just going to pull out this article right here um, at the bottom. What is social media influence? I'll open up the text version of that. Let me bring it up on my screen here. And then uh, I'll make the text a little bit bigger. It might run off your screen, but you'll get the idea here. And this article, like most, is just broken into a couple of quick ideas. You're not going to go into anything at a super deep level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrate this whole article and the time it takes to read that, let me ballpark and say maybe two minutes, two and a half minutes. Uh, while I read it, I want my slide deck to just show a word or maybe a couple of words in a short key phrase because nobody wants to read a slide deck where all of the words are, or nobody wants to watch a video where all of the words you're speaking are right on the screen. At least I don't. Uh, it's a little, it's a little nicer if it's just, you know, the odd idea, a single word, right? So, uh, the first one would be like, what is social media influence? And then here's the answer. Then it talks a little bit about clout. Um, so that could be the second piece. And then if you look at this third paragraph, um, it's all about creating action and engagement with your audience. But then there's actually um, a little tip here about what you need to decide to do. So I might break that into a, a second idea. So each one of these paragraphs, like I'm showing you here, are going to become a single word or a key or, or a, a short phrase on a slide. Um, now I've done some of this work behind the scenes. Let me show you what I did here. This is the slide deck. So Title slide, I just put, I, I grabbed some funky font. And what is it called? For your, it's called phosphate. Yum. <laughs> All right. So it's, it's social media influence is the name of this video. And then I went to the article. And then what is social media influence? So that's my first slide. What is it? And this is going to be on the screen while I read, while I narrate this paragraph. When I reach the end of that paragraph, I'm going to go to the next slide which is all about clout. Now, here's the cool thing. I didn't, uh, to mix it up a little bit, I didn't just write the word clout. I went into the PLR package and I grabbed this infographic here. So th this is the guy here. I'll bring that up on the screen. And I just uh, clipped this top piece of the infographic and pasted it into my slide. Just let, gives me some variety to work with. So while this is on the screen, I'm then going to narrate this paragraph about clout and so on and so forth. So the third paragraph is about action and engagement. So I just mix it up a little bit and, and uh, use those words here. Um, what are your influencers, a discussion point, and then mass appeal and targeted. Now each one of these slides, just like I said, references um, the paragraphs. So now I just need to make myself little cues. So the cue will be when I reach the end of a paragraph, um, go to the next slide. The cool thing about this is I'm using an app right now to record this video and I'll be doing it for the actual um, video that I record for this um, called ScreenFlow. So I don't have to do it all in one take. I could pull up the slide, uh, narrate the slide and then press pause or stop and then record again and then just kind of edit the whole thing together at the end. Uh, but I just wanted to give you some context for how this was going to work. And uh, literally, I ha I've done what is it, maybe 10, 15 minutes of work. I shot an iPhone video. Uh, I grabbed a PLR article. I grabbed a quick slide deck. This took me literally like two minutes max to make, right? I just used the built-in tools for Keynote. You could do the same thing with Power PowerPoint. And I'm going to use a video recording app like um, ScreenFlow or Camtasia to literally um, narrate my voice as I navigate through these slides. Anybody can do this, even if you don't have a great speaking voice, uh, even if you're not confident speaking on camera, you don't have to. You can hide behind a mic like I am right now and still produce a good quality video in a tiny amount of time. There's no reason to think that video marketing takes all day long and crazy production value. It doesn't. It's about building a connection with your audience. Uh, so I wanted to kind of highlight that piece for you. All right. In terms of the training, I'm pretty much done here. I just want to show you what I'm about to do next. Uh, I can't necessarily show all of it because the ScreenFlow app I'm using to make these recordings can't also ScreenFlow me while I'm screen flowing. It's hard to explain, but I think you get what I'm saying. But here's the summary. I'm going to go back to this little funny clip of me. I'm going to extract those 12, 15, 20 seconds, whatever it was. That's the intro to my video. Then I'm going to do an, uh, uh, record my screen again using ScreenFlow. 
I'm going to press play on my PowerPoint or Keynote, whatever it is, and then I'm going to have the article on, a, on my iPhone or another computer or even print it out, whatever, and read it, uh, transitioning the slides in the right spots because I've made those little, I've made them, I broke them up into paragraphs, right? So as I read each paragraph, I'll know when to transition to the next slide. And then in a single take, I can have a whole video done of me narrating a video about social media influence um, where I don't have to know the content, I'm just reading it, and the actual video delivery looks nice. It's on that slide deck format that I showed you. So that's all there is to show you here. The next piece will be to look for a link somewhere close to this video where you can see the final result. But I look forward to hearing from you because this is a strategy, like literally, you could do once a day in like a 15, 20, 30 minute block, maybe, maybe an hour until you get fast at it, uh, and constantly pump out videos, we don't have to worry about actually wording the content in your own way. You can just read a PLR article that's in line with the type of advice you like to give, but it adds that personal connection. It's you delivering the information. It's your face on camera. It's your voice and your tonality when you speak, which goes leaps and bounds beyond what most other people are willing to do. You'll give yourself a huge advantage in the marketplace. So I hope you got some value from this. I look forward to hearing from you. Go ahead and watch the actual end result video now. Let's look for the link somewhere on this page.